with this news reveals why so many people are simply begging for change and why they're actually getting away with it. Our Night View reporter David McAnally tonight has the story of how the panhandlers are outsmarting the police who are trying to stop them. David? Andrea, here's one of the places the panhandlers work. It's on West 10th Street. You can see here there's some uh, cups that are scattered around here. There's other food wrappers and the like. It's disturbing. It's frustrating for people who have to stop at this light and see this. Frustrating for the people trying to attract visitors to Indianapolis as well. There are laws on panhandling, but generally the panhandlers are following those laws. You've seen them. I just think they're full of crap and they just want money to get out of other people. Maybe you've talked to them. I used to cut hair. You cut hair? Uh, we're pretty much a, a, a blight out here. People don't like seeing us. There's so many of us. like the second time I've been out here. Second time you've been here? Some are homeless, some aren't homeless. Homeless or not, they found homes at major intersections and off-ramps everywhere. And here's how they've done it. You're, you've researched the law. You know what you're doing then. 35, 45, 17, 1, you have to. Listen to Daniel again. 35, 45, 17, 1. He just cited the Indiana panhandling law a law that makes it illegal for somebody to come up to you at an ATM or a street corner or a building entrance and ask for money. So why do we still see this? They're not supposed to be standing here with signs. You can get arrested for it. Actually, not true. I see a lot more panhandling. I found out that there's a term for it. It's called signing. Signing? Yes. That is the loophole in the panhandling law. As long as they say nothing first, they can hold the sign all day during daylight hours. Daniel says he tries to live by a certain code out here. He keeps a trash can out here. He says he wants to keep this area clean. He also wants to be honest with people, but he follows the rules. It's a hard life out here. It really is a hard life. Daniel says he lives in a homeless camp, unable to find work. But others? There's one guy I know who does it because he's bored and doesn't have anything else to do. He and others told us police move them along. They do move you along? Part of it. <laughs> That's part of it. In 2010, IMPD arrested 116 illegal panhandlers. In 2011, 127 arrests. Then last year, down to 54 after a change in the law. That's aggressive panhandling. That's against the law. I don't shake a cup. I don't even look at people. I look straight down and I look right here. Police say the panhandlers' keen awareness of the law, plus enforcement, have helped cut violations. Hey, you're on TV. Of last year's 54 arrests, 7% of them happened here at busy 86th and Keystone, which we found becoming a trash dump last summer. Emerson exits at 70 and I-465 were busy too, but most are street corners downtown. It, it's, it goes on too much. It's hard for me to determine who's genuinely suffering. Even advocates for the homeless say that most of the panhandlers you see are not homeless themselves. In fact, they say the best thing to do is not give to the panhandlers, but give to charities that help homeless people. Expect to see new efforts, maybe in the legislature, but also at the city level, to try to reinforce some of the laws on hanging out on street corners, but basically hanging out at the corner, holding a sign. It's a constitutional right. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.